The federal government is taking new steps this morning to address the growing problem of space junk. The Air Force awarded Lockheed Martin a nearly $1 billion contract. It will build a so-called space fence. Chip Reed shows us how it could stop a disaster. He is at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. Yes, they call it a space fence. It's really a high-tech radar system that will track hundreds of thousands of pieces of debris floating around out there in space. The goal is to protect not only space travel, but also the hundreds of satellites that govern everything from military intelligence to GPS to satellite TV. Hundreds of miles above Earth is a massive field of junk traveling 17,000 miles an hour, leftovers from decades of space travel. Satellites that have been decommissioned, booster rockets, empty fuel containers, fairings, leftover pieces of rocket uh, launch vehicles. Astronomer Derek Pitts says even a small object could seriously damage the International Space Station. Something the size of uh, less than an inch. If it's traveling at a very high speed, it can do incredible damage. A fictional worst case scenario played out on the big screen last year. Mission abort. In the blockbuster film, gravity. Multiple satellites are down and they keep on falling. That's unlikely to happen in the real world, but experts say the threat is growing. And it's only going to get worse and if you know where the objects are, you can start to avoid them. Steve Bruce is working on Lockheed Martin's Space Fence radar system, expected to be ready in 2018. It'll be based in the South Pacific, near the equator, for optimum range. It's really revolutionary. It will map out what's up in space very, very well. In 2009, the U.S. satellite Iridium was destroyed when it collided with a defunct Russian satellite, creating thousands of pieces of new space debris. Current systems only track about 23,000 objects. The space fence is expected to monitor about 10 times that, steering satellites and space missions away from danger. Satellites really have become a major portion of how we live on this planet, everywhere from communications to early warning for weather. And so a uh, billion dollars is not a big price to pay to try to get control of this problem. You know, there is so much debris up there and the amount is growing so quickly that it could eventually affect our ability to go to space at all. So scientists are looking not only for ways to avoid collisions with existing junk, they're also trying to figure out how to stop creating more space junk. Gail? All right, Chip, after listening to his report, it now sounds like money well spent. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess there's not a space landfill for space junk. Yeah. <laughs> not yet, Nora, not yet.